This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good evening, Rabbi Oisai. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, we're already holding Arab Yom Kippur, the night before Yom Kippur. And what better limo to have than Sefer Shari Tshuva? We're learning today, tonight, about the sixth ingredient of Tshuva. Busha, shame. This is Rabbeinu Yoyna Ha'ikar Hashishi, the sixth ingredient in Habusha. Kenyan Shenemar, like the Pasuk says in Yermia, Boishti, I'm embarrassed, Vigam Nechlamti. I'm even ashamed. Kinasasi Cherpas Nurai, I bear the disgrace of my youth. What does this mean? What is Busha? Bine Hachoite Yevosh Ma'oid, Lavar Averos, the Fnebne Adam. A sinner is certainly very embarrassed to violate Averos before people. The call him and he would be ashamed. If he would be ashamed if they would notice his sin. So how could a person not be afraid, embarrassed before God? In other words, there are certain things that a person would be embarrassed to do in front of others. And yet, when nobody's looking... He's not embarrassed to do it. How could you not be ashamed though before God? You wouldn't do it before your friend, before your brother, before your father, before your son. So then why could you do it? Don't you know God is watching? And in fact, the Chodos HaVavos asks this question. Then how is it possible? It's a tema that a people are embarrassed from other people and they're not embarrassed from God. And this is a fact of, fact of life. In fact, I even saw in a biography about Rev Miller that one time after Bircha Samozayn, so he said to the person sitting next to him, he said, thank you for benching. Thank you for my benching. So he said, what are you talking about? What do you mean thank you for your benching? So Miller said, because of you I benched better. Had you not been here, I wouldn't have benched as well. But Miller was honest enough to admit that the fact that there was someone else watching him bench improved his benching. Now, we probably would be, we might not be honest enough to admit that we all know how our davening is if you can't make it to a minion as opposed to when you're at a minion. Why is it all of a sudden that when you're at the minion your davening is better? Because there are other people there. And when nobody's watching, you don't have the same, people don't have the same year up from Hashem as they have from other people. And the Chavis HaVavis says, this is a great mystery. And the answer to the Chavis HaVavis gives is that God took it away. God made it that we're not embarrassed in front of Him in order for us to have free choice because if we would be embarrassed before God, no one would ever sin. And Rabbi Yonah says likewise that why do we not do an Avera? Bineha ha a sinner. But he says, Bein zekiyim lufi hayoyis Hashem yisbarach rachayk nikol yoyisav. The reason is because Hashem is very far from our kidneys. In other words, He's far from us. We don't feel Him. God is not real to us. He's very distant. That Hashem is close. It's just we distance Hashem. Look at the irony. We're embarrassed from the creations and we're not embarrassed before the Creator. When Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai passed away, his students told him, Rabbeinu, Barcheinu, Rabbi, give us a bracha. He said, you should be just as fearful before, before, um, Hashem, as you are before people. So he said, come on, what do you think, who do you think we are? You're telling us that we should only fear God as much as we feel other people, not more? Amrulai, Rabbeinu, Ad Kabbalah, that's it? I should fear God only as much as I fear my friend? It says, Rabbi Yoichem and Zakai, Halavai, you should fear Hashem as much as you fear your friend. Amrulam Halavai. And the proof is, people are not afraid of God. People sin secretly, and in public, they do not sin. But says Rabbi Nehemiah, so that's the first thing. Be ashamed. Shamed is, how could you, when a person does an Avera, 
they should feel embarrassed by what they did. The problem is, the embarrassment does not protect us from doing it in the first place. And after we did it, we do it, we're not really embarrassed before God. But says Rabbi Yoyna now, and there's a higher level of this busha. And the higher level is busha u chlima. Chlima is a higher level, a more intense shame. Like Ezra HaSoifer says when we say it every morning in Sichas, Alaykai, Boishti, Vigam Nechlamti, Laharim Alaykai, Panai Elecha, Kiavanosenu, Ravu, Lamala, Roish, the Ashmosen. Now think about it. Who said this? Ezra HaSoifer, Amal Lefanecha, right? Alaykai, Ezra HaSoifer? Ezra HaSoifer was, was a Malach like him. He probably never did anything wrong that we would even be able to recognize as Nabera. And look how he felt that before Hashem, he felt so sullied and so embarrassed and so ashamed, he couldn't even bring, he couldn't even lift his head up. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.